Now let's look at this figure 17-19 that deals with uh, protection according to services. Now notice the switch gear uh, we referenced 230.211, 490.47, and our protection, we reference 230.208 and 490.21. The vertical sections, 230.75, 408.3A2, exception, and 490.31, as well as 490.32. Now notice for our service conductors, L1, L2, and L3, uh, we have a disconnect switch with fuses, and the continuous current rating of each fuse shall not be over 300% the opacity of the service conductors. So just an example only. If you had a 100 amp conductor, you could size up to 300 amp on your fuses. Then you could go to table 450.3A, and that would deal with transformers if they were involved, and you could do the same thing. Now, for your uh, uh, air, oil, or vacuum type circuit breaker, L1 and L2 hitting the breaker, trip settings of your circuit breaker, not over 600%, the opacity of the service conductors. Then in the NEC loop, for more information, more uh, bolts and nuts, we suggest you see figure 17-10, 9 dash uh, 48 and 6 dash 56 and 6 dash 57 uh, in volume uh, 1 of design of course the 17 dash 10 would be volume 2 of design and then for your conductors we go to 230.200 230.202a 230.42 and 230.90 the opacity of the conductors, now remember, you go to the new article 311 and select a table based upon conductors in conduit or cables, uh, you know, conductors in conduit in the ground, above ground, and so forth. But to, to select your circuit breakers, fuses, your switch gear, uh, your switch board, panel board, whatever may be involved, you have to go to article 490 which we have uh, some of those sections uh, referenced uh, for you there. So that's what uh, this figure 17-19 is uh, pointing out is service protection in accordance with 230.208 and 230.10 and what would be the maximum percentages for fuses and circuit breakers as you see in this illustration 17 dash 19.